The last non-scientific idea is the anti-vax thing. This is a great example of why we must stick to the scientific method. Now again, we're gonna talk all about that method tomorrow, but for now you should know you observe, hypothesize, experiment, and conclude. And then you share that with peers and you try to like double check each other and make sure everything's good, right? That's what science is supposed to be. So this woman, her name is uh, Jenny McCarthy. So she is a celebrity. She might know her from Scary Movie. Uh, she was a model at one point, I think. And she, she had her kid uh, vaccinated, as most parents do, against common diseases that could dismember, or dismember, disfigure, or, or even kill a child. Things like measles and mumps. So she got her child vaccinated. And then later she discovered that her child had autism, right? So she linked the two. She discovered a correlation. Now that is a valid correlation, but is there causation? So no, obviously there isn't. We've done lots of experiments to test this. No correlation whatsoever between vaccines and autism. But she skipped that experimental step. She just jumped straight from her hypothesis straight to her conclusion. And that's not real science, right? Then she announced it People all across the United States who were fans of hers stopped giving their kids vaccines, and a bunch of them died from very preventable diseases, right? So just another example of how it can be dangerous to uh, reach unscientific conclusions. Um, we've done lots of, of studies since, and none of it has found any, any uh, causation. The true cause, right? There is another correlation she's not considering, right? So, yes, we are giving our kids more vaccines, but at the same time, we are also waiting to have children later in life. Oops, I'm having a little glitch here. Give me a second. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Uh, but we, um, we are waiting to have kids later in life. And so what is that? So, so th this is the real correlation, right? So... Uh, later birth or older birth or giving birth later in life and then we are also um, uh, vaccinating more or sorry that's that's not what I'm um, we are also having more autism and so that is the real cause right so that's another correlation she did not consider and that is the real cause she did wait later in life to have her child so so that is the real cause of of the rise in autism it's not vaccines and if she had done proper science she would have uh discovered that so